Hey everybody, happy Monday. I hope you've had an awesome weekend enjoying some Olympics. I'm a huge fan of the Olympics, but haven't been watching as much as I would like to because I'm working on the hockey puck product. And man, have I got an update here. It's uh, Saturday night and I've been working on debugging this screen issue for at least 10 hours, I would say. And I got to a point where my code for doing a partial update was literally doing the exact same steps as the manufacturer sample code to do a partial update. And what would happen is, is it does my full display, displays the background and Flurry's name and everything, and then with each partial update, it would just degrade, degrade, degrade until you get you know some garbagey looking thing like that. Just for fun, I bought two of these. I grabbed the other one, plugged it in, and it works perfectly. And I unplugged it and I tried it a couple of times, thought maybe it was a fluke, tried it four or five times, and every single time the partial update works like a champ on this one. And so I don't know if at some point I ruined this because I have footage of this working earlier on or if it's just that after, um, it does have so many update cycles that it can do, but that's like a million or something. I mean, it's some crazy high number that I know I haven't hit yet. Uh, and so I don't know if it's just, if this is a quality problem with this particular e-paper display uh, or what, but this is super frustrating because I, I feel like this is telling me that, hey, Kevin, your code is working just fine. You can move on now, but this concerns me. I can't have this happening when the puck is on somebody's desk. Um, the interesting about this thing though, uh, the interesting thing about this one is that the full update still works fine. I showed that in my Instagram story earlier if you're watching that where if I do a full update on this, uh, it'll fully update every time. Uh, it just does the little flash refresh to do that, which I think is gross. It would be much better to use the partial update which just changes the numbers and it looks really uh, slick. So. I don't know. I think at this point, I'm going to move on, say that my code is working because I can do the thing I want it to do and just keep an eye on it and see if maybe in all of my code changes and stuff or I had done something. It's not like I hooked up anything wrong. It's got a little connector, so it's, it's not like I got wires crossed or anything. Um, and so that's it. It appears that the code is working and I've made some changes to the code. I've found a couple of things and cleaned it up a little bit, but um, I know that the code as it sits right this second is able to perform a partial update on the display. And so I think we're going to go with that, move on and see, like I said, just keep an eye on it. I might reach out to Robot Shop and be like, what the heck, this thing lasted a whole like week before it went belly up. Um, and so anyway, that's, that's where we're at. Hopefully we can start getting into some new and interesting things other than I can't get the screen to work because I can't get the screen to work. Question of the day, what is your favorite Winter Olympic sport to watch? <sighs> That's a tough one for me. I don't know if I have the answer. I love so many of them. Like I've been into curling this time around, um, which I'm not, it's not like I'm a lifelong curling fan. Obviously I'm a hockey fan, love to see that. But um, what is your favorite Olympic sport for Winter Olympics. Thanks so much for watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.